So let's say you just finished an Excel worksheet for your boss. Uh, it has tables in it, graphs, and now they are asking for uh, you to produce a report in Microsoft Word and a presentation inside Microsoft PowerPoint. I wanna show you different ways that you can copy and paste that information from Microsoft Excel over to Word and PowerPoint very quickly. Hi, my name's Jamie and thanks for joining me here at Teachers Tech today. If you wanna to follow along with this spreadsheet here that I'm gonna be using for the demo here today, I'll put a link to that down below in the description. So then as I go and show you things, you can kind of copy right along. Okay, so I have these two different documents open up here. One on the right here is Microsoft Excel and on the left I have Microsoft Word. So I have this table inside Microsoft Word. You can see this document over here has the graph and everything in here. But I'm gonna take this table and I wanna put it inside Microsoft Word. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select what I want to copy. And at this point I could go Control C or I could do my copy. Now, if we just go over to Microsoft Word and use our Control V or right click and paste, you can see it gets put right into it, very easy. The one thing to know, if I go and click in any of these, if I make a change here, if I change this to 70, notice nothing changes. So there's no formulas in here, just kind of copied uh, how it looked and put it into here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, delete. I'm just gonna go undo a couple steps. Now, I just wanna show you some different options uh, that you can paste this in and you can kind of find what would be the best for you. So if I go back up to paste and looking at the different options, the default paste was this one uh, that I just showed you. I can go across, this is just the unformatted version of the same thing. There's no formulas in this. This is when we start to link our, link our data between our Excel spreadsheet and Microsoft Word. So what I mean is you can see one is formatted, one's not. So if I just go to this one, the unformatted, uh, these are linked. So this Microsoft Word table in here is linked to this one. So if I go ahead and change this number in here, and if you watch on the other side, so if I change this to 70, hit return, this changes over here. So these two documents are linked linked. Uh, this is nice. So if you are uh, creating this report and you put the table in and realize that you needed to make some changes to your spreadsheet, you can just change it in the one place and it will update everywhere. So they're linked. The problem with this though is or the, you will have to remember you need to send the spreadsheet with uh, if you're sending it to someone else because they're linked. The two documents are linked in it. So if you go ahead and delete the uh, Excel spreadsheet, you're, this isn't going to work. Or if the person does it, someone else is viewing it without that spreadsheet, it's not gonna work because they are linked. Now I wanna show you a different way that you can do this uh, where you don't have to worry about uh, it being uh, linked on it, that'll come together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just undo what I just did here uh, and get rid of those. If I go back to, I'm gonna copy this one more time over here. So I'm just doing Control C. If I go back to here and paste, and I do wanna show you this option right here, you can paste as an image. If you didn't want anything to be changed, you can see now if I paste as an image, this is just an image. I can't click in here and do anything. Uh, I could crop it and everything, but it just kind of put this in as a picture in here. It's actually, when you're coming from here, if you look at this option, you can copy it as a picture and paste it over from Excel. So just a couple of different ways you can do this. But what I really wanna show you, if we go back to our paste option, so what I, what I want you to look at is paste special. So if I go to paste special, there's paste and paste link. Now the paste link is very similar to what I showed you before uh, with the needing the, the link between, so you need both documents. But if I go paste and choose this uh, object one, the worksheet object and hit okay, now what's gonna happen is uh, if I go ahead and open this, notice this is called document to Word. I haven't saved it as anything. If I go ahead and double click in this, it opens up this. So this is kind of connected to that, uh, to that Microsoft Word document where you won't need the original, uh, the original Excel file. So now if I'm making changes in here and I'm just gonna change this to 100 and click out, you can see the changes are made. 
But this is opening up an Excel Word, uh, Excel inside of that Word document. I don't need to be sending uh, sending it that way of the length of the two different files. I'm not actually, when I change this though now, if I go back to the original file, this never did change. So it's not changing the original file, but it's allowing me to work inside a Word document and making the changes through here. So it's inside Microsoft Word and it's opening up inside this as Excel inside. So now I do want to point out you can copy paste uh, graphs over too. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this out and I'll go back to uh, this one here. If I go ahead and take this right here, uh, copy, I can right click copy, I could go over here and I'm just going to give a couple of spaces. Now I can paste in different ways too. So uh, you, as I go through, we can paste with a link and as I change anything on that Excel spreadsheet, it will change in the document. If I, and those two are the, within the formats or I can do the image, but we can also do it as paste special here as the object. And now if I go ahead, as soon as I double click in here, you're gonna see the exact same thing. Again, it's gonna open up uh, my chart in here in one second, there it is. And so I can go ahead, if I wanted to alter it here, you can see as I spread it apart, it's spreading apart down here. So if I was just picking one of the pieces and bringing it out, you can see it there. So those are some different ways you can be pasting into Word uh, from Microsoft Excel to Microsoft Word. Uh, let's go over to PowerPoint and look at the options there. So now I have Microsoft PowerPoint open on the left and many of the things are very similar to Microsoft Word, but there's a couple of differences and I just wanna show you uh, those. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this information here. So I'm just gonna do Control C. When I go over here, I could right click and paste and it'll look as that be pasted as the table just as this default one here. What I wanna point out uh, first of all, I'm gonna to go to Paste Special and the paste special is there. So you can see we can go paste and put it in. Uh, but inside this way, if we go to this one right here, this works the same way as that paste special for this table. So if I click on it, now if I go ahead and double click in here, what happens is it's not gonna pop open that spreadsheet that it did in Microsoft Word. It is there though. You can see how I can maneuver around the spreadsheet. It's just embedded in here. So any change change I make in here. So if I was changing this to 100 and click out, everything works. It's that spreadsheet within it. So I can go do the same thing. Uh, so I'm just gonna delete this really quickly. And if I was gonna go, and I'm just gonna copy it one more time, just to point out, if we look at the different options here under Paste Special, we can do the link. So we could link it, uh, then you're gonna need both files that way. Uh, I do wanna grab a um, uh, this chart right here, so this pie uh, one, and I'm gonna go right click on this one and just copy like this time. When I paste it over to this slide here, you can see I have different options. Notice that the link one comes up right through there. So just like before, when I did it inside Word, uh, Microsoft Word, these would be the link to it, whether they be the formatting or not, or the image. I'm gonna go to Paste Special to show you if you do it as the paste in here, hit OK. And as it puts it in, if I double click on this, and this time it's gonna open it up and I have my information in here. It has that tab. This time, just like before with Microsoft Word, this chart uh, is independent of that spreadsheet. You won't need them both, but if you're linking, uh, you will need them both. So I hope you liked uh, learning about these ways that you can copy and paste your data from Microsoft Excel over to Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, uh, finding out which way would work the best for you if you have that report coming up and you need to, or you need to make that presentation. Thanks for watching this time on Teacher's Tech, I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.